Now the birth of Jesus Christ was this way, for his mother Mary was betrothed to Joseph before they came together. She was found to be with child by the Holy Spirit. But Joseph, her husband-to-be, being just and not willing to make her a public example, he purposed to put her away secretly. And as he thought upon these things, behold, the angel of the Lord appeared to him in a dream. Joseph, take Mary as your wife. She will have a baby who will be the Son of God. You shall name him Jesus, and he will save his people from their sins. Mary, last night the angel of the Lord came to me and said we are to get married. You will have a child, and he will be the Son of God. And it happened in those days that a decree went out from Caesar Augustus that all the world should be taxed. All went to be registered, each to his own city, and Joseph also went up from Galilee to be taxed, out of the city of Nazareth into Judea, to the city of David which is called Bethlehem, because he was of the house and family line of David. And in the same country there were shepherds living in the field, keeping watch over their flock by night. And lo, the angel of the Lord came on them, and the glory of the Lord shone around them. Fear not, for behold, I bring you good tidings of great joy, which shall be to all people. For unto you is born this day in the city of David a Savior, which is Christ the Lord. And this shall be a sign unto you. You shall find the babe wrapped in swaddling clothes lying in a manger. I wasn't scared. Okay, I was a little scared. Alright, fine, I was so afraid, okay? Let's go. So, the moral of story is... All of Hing's courses and all of Ming's Ken could not get gum tea to feather a hen. <laughs> hey, there's that star we were following. Let's go. Now when Jesus was born in Bethlehem of Judea, behold, wise men came from the east to Jerusalem. And lo, the star which they saw in the east went before them until it came and stood over where the child was. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whoever believes in him should not perish but have everlasting life. <laughs> <laughs> 